your WNEM TV5 news update. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Elise Ramey. Here's a look at the top stories we're following today. Sentencing set for the parents of the Oxford High School shooter, Ethan Crumbly. James Crumbly was found guilty yesterday on four counts of involuntary manslaughter. Jennifer Crumbly was found guilty on the same charges last month. They're the first parents in U.S. history to be found criminally responsible for a mass shooting committed by their child. Both will be sentenced on April 9th. A new Aldi grocery store coming to Genesee County. The Davison Township Planning and Zoning Administrator tells TV5 the location is seeking approval from Genesee County Water and Waste and could break ground in late spring. The Planning Commission approved the site plan back in November. The new location will set up in the development near Menards on Court Street. The discount grocery chain announced plans last week to open 800 new stores across the country over the next four years. Construction still on hold for mid-Michigan dams while a group of homeowners appealed the special assessment to pay for it. The Four Lakes Task Force was working toward restoring Smallwood and Seacord Lakes by late spring of next year and Sanford and Wixom Lakes the following year. Now the delay is raising frustration in the community. This new lawsuit basically has presented two questions, either no dam or you get a dam and your assessments will be higher because we have to pay for the cost of the lawsuit. And this is causing even more issues within the township and amongst people. The task force is asking a judge to expedite the appeal. A hearing on that motion is set for next Thursday. Now let's check in with Diane. In your first alert forecast, we are going to find some sunshine trying to work its way in. It'll take a little bit of time here this afternoon, but it is something to look forward to on a Friday. The cloud cover, though, is really going to be holding on to the thumb for much of the day. But with the time changing now, your sunset tonight is going to be around 740 PM. So that will help if we can clear things out like the hour by hour forecast is showing here at six o'clock. That means that we could have a really nice finale to our Friday, but the cloud cover fills right back in Saturday morning. You can see a cold front though setting up towards our north and west as it comes in it's just going to be a little bit choppy as far as the precipitation chances so it's more towards the evening when we get enough of that drier air eroded away that we can bring in the chance for a few spotty rain showers again that's going to be saturday evening but then behind the cold front we'll have the cold air in place so sunday morning here we go with the lake effect we are going to have some scattered snow showers a lot of those are just going to also be spotty here in mid michigan so don't be surprised if you have a flurry that kind of blows by your face as you're out and about over the weekend more towards Sunday even with St. Patrick's Day in Bay City. Of course, they have the parade stepping off at two o'clock. Temperatures for that are going to be into the 30s. We will have an isolated flurry that I was mentioning, but also note the wind chills. It's going to be feeling a lot cooler than those 30s with wind chills into the 20s because look at the winds as we go throughout the weekend. The winds are a lot lighter today, but they pick up a lot of speed tomorrow. We are going to find those to be around 35 even to 40 miles per hour Saturday going to be the windy day between the two because on Sunday you can see peak winds just a few mile per hour lower sitting around 25 to 30 miles per hour. The first alert seven day forecast though for today taking that high to 48 degrees. We do bump up to 52 tomorrow, but again, it's going to be windy. We will have that shower chance and even the flurries are possible on Sunday, but be prepared 30s. They do stay Sunday and into early next week. A little bit of a cooler start to the spring season on Tuesday. We will find now a little bit of a rebound towards some spring vibes come Wednesday and Thursday 40s and hopefully a mix of some clouds and some sun. Remember to tune into WNEM TV 5 on air and online 24 7 for the latest news, weather and information.